expected you folks to do that. I thought that, uh, thank you. Man, if I could, I thought I would try to uh, just share a bit of uh, uh, the context. First of all, I think the one thing that I hear from everyone and I don't think there is any disagreement that we got a wonderful university and it's uh, the best in the province and everyone uh, loves the place. So uh, I don't think the loving the place is owned by any one group. I think it's owned by all of us. I think to the young lady who uh, brought a tear to my eye, I think the difference that we see is not on, on the issue you raised but it's simply to ensure that those that are in most need have the support uh, that they need to never have to uh, go to the food bank. And maybe we're not successful all the that time. That wasn't my point, sir. But my point is that as a student and as a paying uh, person, and I pay tuition, my uh, tuition this year was $7,000. Um, I had to work all summer and I still have four hundred dollars left to pay. No, and so I wasn't. We weren't disagreeing at all. At that, my my point was that if you are from a family that has a very large income, it's a different situation than you you're in. And freeze the fees is one size fits all for everyone. But I wanted to to be more positive about it. I thought we had progressive discussions today. At least I thought they were. I don't know if you felt they were. I just spoke to them. Yeah, and and uh, and so this is a way of of not having anyone think that there's winners and losers. We're all trying to to aim for the same thing. And and this doesn't mean we're not perfect, or that we're perfect and we can't improve upon processes. And I thought we had reasonable discussions today that could lead to better and I for sure support all of the students in here and in some ways I say to people we're one big family at the end of the day so when students leave and they are unhappy with each other it's not good for the family it's not good for the reputation so to me the most important thing is to say your administration heard and we're listening we are want to work with everyone together but the most important is that we don't see ourselves as groups. The strength of the university is that uh, the people who have this sign or this jersey are no different than the other students. We all want the same thing. We want a great university. We want affordable university. We want an accessible university. We want high quality. We want a lot of things, including we wish that we didn't have cuts. We wish we, did, we had more government grants. All of that we all share. We might put different values on it, what comes first, what comes second, but we all want it. So what I would ask of everyone is not to put yourself in groups uh, and to think the only group we are is, is a Ryerson group and that we just try to work together. And sometimes things are difficult. Sometimes things are struggles. It doesn't mean that if you have a struggle, it's a bad thing. Hard things take, take time. And so my hope is, to pull everyone together as a group. It's very easy to say. It's very easy to say. We're making so much money while students are struggling to pay tuition. Let's look at the case. There's 16,000 students from Chang School who don't have a seat at this Board of Government. And what we pay, you guys make decisions for 16,000 paying students who don't come to campus, don't have the same benefits, already have to pay fees, and then they have to pay back if they have to go to to use services, we have to fight so then we, part-time students, sure. have access to mental health services, have access to other uh, accommodation services, and even the uh, accommodation center puts us at 5 o'clock, Chinese school classes starts at 6. So how are we included? How can we not feel that we are is isolated? If we really are going to be one family, then how about having a Chinese school representative or a sister member in this Board of Government. I believe it's you know, I, I, I could only say that the, the description of this board, as we've discussed, is not the universities, it's the province of Ontario. It's not a so, decision. So we will, we will be leaving now. Um, the board can expect, and hopefully um, someone around the table will bring forward the alternative budget that we will be producing. Uh, and you can look forward to seeing us through the new year uh, at your meetings to have real discussions about that. 
we're open to it, and we believe that there are real alternatives for, for this institution. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have access formally, so we're going to have to rely on you, but we will be here. We will be bring this num amount of numbers or more, uh, and there is a movement on campus, and we're watching, mm -hmm. and we expect an alternative budget to be passed. Thank you, and have a good night.